of the MDG. The energy problem has been discussed since a decade ago. That is, we need resolutions, but brand new resolutions. Instead of those interests concerning policies, we can't have better choices. The delegate himself believes that the issue requires professional knowledge and calls upon each delegate to prepare more in detail. Also, the delegate will wishes each member state be aware that the necessity of change. In the past few years, some countries keep sticking to their original policy and refuse to develop alternative resources. This kind of action should be condemned for it stopped the world from processing. With an experienced performance on the development of renewable energy, Germany would like to provide the technique. On the other hand, as the leading country in Europe, the delegate of Germany urges that each country should cooperate and is willing and glad to direct the conference to organize a comprehensive resolution. Finally, why are we well, here? We are here, because we, we are here because we care. Thus, the delegate of Germany suggests that the conference must, should, could, would come to consensus on the revolution on the economy and have a better tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, as we can see, um, when your opening speech lasts long, longer than one minute, the chair will cut you short by saying this. Yeah, and so you should finish your speech as soon as possible. The chair will now entertain rights of reply. Is there any on the floor? Seeing there's none, will the delegate return to your seats? Okay. After five opening speeches, the chair will open the floor to rights of reply. And by rights of reply, a delegate can express his or her agreement or disagreement to others' countries. Rights of reply should be stated in third person and standing up at their seats. Thus concludes the opening speeches. Okay, after the opening speeches, yeah. After we so after we finished our opening speeches, it, it is time for lobbying. Lobbying begins after the opening speeches, and delegates should bring six copies of their draft solutions to discuss with others. And during lobbying, delegates will have to find their allies, discuss the resolution, and decide main scenario. The main submitter is the most important person of one resolution, and uh, he is responsible for emerging resolutions. He or she will have to get the main submitting sheet from the chair and obtain sufficient signatures, which the chair will announce the number of signatures required in, in advance. After the resolution is merged, the main submitter will have to submit it to the approval panel and have it approved. The approved resolution uh, will then be given to the chairs, and only approved resolutions can be debated on the second day. Also, the main submitter will have to arrange supporting speeches and points of information for uh, his or her allies or co-submitters. Yeah, so, uh, I have explained this. So, uh, just look at the PPT. Okay, then, uh, merging resolutions. Merging resolutions is part of lobbying. So, you have to try to finish your resolution during the lobbying. So, yeah. Uh, and the merging re resolution shows the allies' perspectives toward the issue. And it includes a plan to solve the problems, which basically come from Clauses and Allies Draft Resolutions. Approval Panel. Approval Panel is the place where your merge resolutions are decided whether or not be, could, it could be debated on. And, uh, or in other words, approved. All the resolutions must be submitted to the Approval Panel before 6.30pm. Sorry, 4.30 p.m. before when it closed, closed. And again, only approved resolutions can be debated on. On can be de debated on in tomorrow's session. Points of personal privilege. 
points of personal privilege are basically complaints about volume, room temperature, noise, etc. And every point requires second, uh, except volume. So delegates can raise points of personal privilege throughout the whole two-day session. Please look at demo three. Please state your point. The delegate thinks the room temperature is too low, and the chair asks the staff to lower the air condition. Any second? Second. That is no order. Okay, so uh, the staff will then do whatever the delegate wants. Yeah. And the end. This is the end of day one, and let's welcome uh, David for day two. Okay, thank you, Jason. Um, I think uh, there was one point that was left out because uh, the chair didn't notice that the, one of the delegates raised his uh, placard. And I, I bet you have questions about point of uh, uh, right to reply, right? Do you know what that is? Okay, right to reply are responses to the delegates' opening speeches. Okay, so maybe we can uh, roll back to, go back to that part. Uh, your, your PPT. Okay? And so, uh, Chair, please do it again. The Chair will now entertain rights of reply. Is there any on the floor? Delegates of the United Kingdom and USA, you have been recognized. The delegate of UK disagrees with the delegate of Germany because he mentioned that uh, uh, said, uh, making new change is is necessary now, but we think, uh, but the delegate of UK think that uh, thinks that uh, uh, state uh, make the current situation stable is so nece is necessary is the most necessary now. The delegate of UK disagrees with the delegate of Germany because he mentioned that making new Is there any other delegates who wish to entertain my reply? Seeing there's none, but the delegate will change his seats. Okay, so um, did you talk about the function of rights of reply? Not yet, right? Okay, so we will talk about that later. As you can see, um, they are actually very nervous. And I think if you are here, you will be nervous too, right? But we will learn from mistakes. Okay, so we will go on. Any questions for day one so far? Okay, day one is actually more relaxed. Okay, so uh, you prepare your opening speech. So you're done with day one. Uh, actually, the day one, uh, during day one, you will have to use your opening speech. And then uh, during lobbying, you will have to share your policies, policy statements or even your resolutions. So you'll have to bring your, uh, about, five or six copies of your assignments so that you can share them with your uh, with fellow delegates. Okay? Uh, if you don't have any other questions, uh, we will go into day two. Okay. Thank you, Jason. Let's give Jason a big hand. Okay, now each of will talk about day two. Hi, I'm David, and I'm going to teach you the procedure and the chair language for day two. There are three main tasks on the second day. Resolution submission, debate, and voting. Here is the full list of the schedule for day two. First, the main submitter will submit his or her resolution. The main submitter will read, the, read out the operative clauses, then the main submitting speech. After that, he or her will entertain points of information. Second, there will be a debate. And the three sessions of the, the debate are debate for, debate against, and open debate. And the third task is voting. First, resolution submission. Let's watch the demo. 
Regarding the issue of oil future, price, demand, and depletion of the fossil fuel, would the Mesa Mayor please approach the podium and read the operative clauses? Clause 1. Proposed as the establishment of the UN High Commission on Energy, which the clause is presided by one chair and one deputy chair who, Sasa Clause 1, are to be elected every four years, Sasa Clause 2, are to convene an annual meeting by gathering the two committees of the High Commission to set their goals based on the report. Sasa Clause 3, hold meetings with its foreign and important countries on solving the conflict if any occurs. Sasa Clause 4, Issue annual projects on industrial transformation and renewable energy development. Subclass class 5. Give suggestions to each country in the UNCPAD. Subclass B. Supervise Committee 1, the Renewable Energy Committee, is responsible for Subclass 1. Subclass class 1. Monitoring international oil pricing and production. Subclass class 2. Assisting yearly reports by gathering information from governments and related international intersections. Subclass class 3. Hosting conferences between the OPEC, the UNDP, and ASEAN for oil pricing issues and yearly production goals to strengthen the connection of oil production states and the above organizations. Sasa Class 4, setting yearly aims and solutions to decreasing the production of fossil fuels. Sasa Class 5, evaluating the fossil fuel and its clear power used in each country. Sub Class C, supervised committee 2, renewable energy committee, which is authorized to Sasa Class 1, monitor performance on renewable energy development on each country. Subsequent Class 2, adapt yearly reports and annual development goals. Subsequent Class 3, suggest some possible solutions to each country. Subsequent Class 4, set branches of office in each continent and those countries in need. Subsequent Class 5, coordinate personnel and resources to the countries that need help in developing renewable resources. Subsequent Class 6, collaborate with experienced countries and organizations such as the UNIDF. Class 2, authorize the UN International Powerful Forum and Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development to set branches in each country to be in charge of related affairs by Subclass A, assisting the development of renewable energy resources by providing technical and financial assistance. Sub sub subclass B, dispatching aspect to each country that is under development. Subclass C, providing technical advices so as to conduct industrial transformation. Subclass D, evaluating the condition in each country into three levels, including well performed, great progress, and thus developed under renewable energy development. Subclass E, Assessing records in the advance and reporting in the UNCTAD. Subclass 6. Holding a district conference for countries to discharge experience on their renewable energy so as to reach better results. Subclass, uh, subclass 7. Directing the country to establish training partnership inside FDA. Class 3. Strong urges that all member states focus on international issues based on oil production by subclass 8. Controlling oil use by such means as one unlimited to sub subclass 1. Performing domestic industrial transformation, Sasa Class 2, inventing techniques of renewable energy, including solar water and wind energy. Sasa Class 3, properly encouraging civilians to grow biofuel plants. Sasa Class 4, setting up annual development goals. Sub Class B, employing the fair trade and effective pricing systems with such, a, such measures as the Sasa Class 1, following the guidelines of the UNFCC as introduced in Class 1, and actively cooperating with it. Sasa Class 2, signing MPA with other countries to protect domestic interests. Subsequent class 3, setting up laws against domestic monopoly of crude oil. Subsequent class 4, investigating illegal acts in order to prevent speculation and to maintain oil price. Subsequent class C, as the pledge is as the publishing stable training partnership so as to avoid oil prices by Subsequent class 1, monitoring the amount of oil production and trade. Subsequent class 2, protecting the vulnerable partnership in pursuit of best interests. After the main center is finished with his or her operative classes, then he will read the main submitting speech. And now I will explain what is a main submitting speech. A main submitting speech is a general, general speech co usually covering only some of the classes. And you can leave the rest of the classes to your allies. And the purpose of the main submitting speech is to explain to other delegates what your scheme is to solve this problem and to persuade other delegates to vote for your resolution. And that, that's watch the demo. Thank you, delegates. Will the delegate please make his main submitting speech? Honorable chairs and fellow delegates, we are facing a big trouble. The overuse of petroleum resource has resulted in the crisis and endangered our citizens' life. As a result, the delegate would like to raise this resolution. In class one, 
the effort as the bridgement of a new body under the UN is proposed. It is clear that current organizations are not able to solve the problem. Why? That is because there is no higher level body gathering and directing all these organizations. With this body, every country from each region can participate in the conference. Different points of view can be heard, different positions can be respected. Another function of this new body is that it can't cope with both renewable energy and non-renewable energy related effects. Setting on committee one, it is expected to take the lead when dealing with the petroleum and other unrenewable resources. And the committee two, it could help each country develop renewable energy. On the other hand, the delegate is fully aware that we need further solutions in class two. The existing body, the UNIDF, is authorized with more missions. Furthermore, the delegate would like to draw the House attention to subclass E, which introduced a new idea that label all the countries into three categories and provide them with different assistance. In this way, we can save a huge amount of money and resource, effectively applying the UN assistance. Finally, it is also important that each country cooperate. In class three, there are several points that this delegate wholeheartedly wishes that can be practiced. Finally, while we're spending time gathering here, it is because we want a brighter future, both for this resolution and we can enjoy it from now, from now on until the future of the future. Thank you. Thank you, delegates. Is the delegate open to points of information? I am open to speech. The WA has opened himself to any and all points of information pertaining to his speech. Is there any on the floor? The only of the United Kingdom, USA, have been recognized. Since there are several kinds of alternative resources, why does the DEFI choose to authorize affairs to UNIBF? Because this organization is under UN, which is professional on this field. If we authorize these affairs to this organization, uh, this organization can direct and lead all the countries in the world and to develop um, some renewable energy. It is clear that the, um, the technique in some countries on renewable energy is not, metric, uh, is not a metric. So we have to need we need a organization under UN to direct all the world. Thank you. Follow-up. Granted. Is the delegate really aware that the impact of uh, the impact on food production is using biofuel? Would the delegate please rephrase this question? Uh, the is the delegate really aware that the impact on food production is using biofuel? Yes, however, the delegate should note that there should not be a direct conversation between delegates. Um, the delegate, um, if the delegate wants to ask the other delegate to rephrase his question, the delegate should tell the church to do that. Okay, the delegate is aware of the impact. However, the usage of food to develop renewable energy is not the food flash itself. It is the remains or some real part of part of the fruit. For example, in Brazil itself, itself, it is not using the sugar can to to uh, to develop oil usage. It is used his Excuse me, to explain what point of information is that will explain point of point of information. Okay, I will explain what is a point point of information. Point of information is a vital part of the debate. It allows delegates to offer brief points to the current speech. And here are some possible replies. Any pertaining to the resolution, clauses, or speech. Second, any and all. Third, two, three, and none. But I would like to remind you that none is not recommended because this may indicate that the delegate is not very certain with this resolution and other delegates will not be willing to vote for it. The resolution. Okay, I would like to add that actually points of information is what we call questions. Six is conference language is a formal language used in this conference. So when you hear points of information, that means questions. Okay, but we don't say questions during the conference. Um, and also. Um, Anthony Wong raised a point of order. Point of order means um, there is a mistake uh, happening because um, delegate to the UK did not follow the rules. Okay? 
Um, the rule is the delegate with UK should not talk directly to the delegate of Germany. Okay, there should be no direct communication between either the delegates, yeah, between the delegates. No matter whether he is a messenger or not. There should be no direct communication between delegates. Even when you are sitting in the conference room, there should be no direct communication between delegates. If you want to talk to, for example, if a delegate of France wants to talk to the delegate of the United Kingdom, you will have to pass a note, okay, in a note form. So you have to write, and then you write your note, and our secretaries will pass the notes for you, okay? So they, there should be no direct um, communication between the delegates. So what should he do, okay? Um, James, do it again. Uh, it's your problem, okay? So um, the, the chair will be responsible for correcting them, okay? So you'll have to ask uh, the delegate to ask for your uh, permission to do so. Um, the chair would like to remind that there should be no conversation, direct conversation between delegates. Would the chair please ask the delegate to rephrase this question? The delegate of the United Kingdom, please rephrase your question. Is the delegate really aware that the impact on food production is using biofuel? Um, to keep answering. If the delegate himself do enough research, he will understand that the current situation on renew uh, renewable energy usage and abuse and how it was produced will never, ever endanger our food production. Thank you. Uh, denied. The chair would like to remind that asking for a second time follow-up is not allowed in the conference. USA. Would the delegate of the USA please skip up? Skip up. Speak up. Would the delegate explain the necessity of establishing a new organization? As the government of Germany has already said that, this organization is mainly in, uh, be responsible for the gathering and directing the current uh, existing body, for example, the OPEC and even IBM. If there is a UN body, uh, uh, Existing, we can uh, we can ask this organization to hold conference between each country as well as between each organization. Thank you. Thank you, delegate. The delegate yield the floor back to the chair or to another delegate. The delegate sorry. That is a order. The delegate of sorry, you have been recognized. You have the floor. Okay. In this session, the main submitter can also yield the floor to another delegate, which is usually his or her ally, and the ally will read his supporting speech and support the main submitter's resolution. Honorable Chairs, fellow delegates, the delegate would like to show appreciation to the delegate of Germany for proposing this great idea. This is not just a resolution, this is a revolution. Delegates, if this resolution passes, it will bring us to a new world and it will benefit our human society. There are basically two things that interest this delegate. The first one is for long term, and the second one is for short term. The progress long term plan would follow alternative resources, which will gradually substitute for the use of oil. The short term plan is also a practical idea. Delegate, what we really need right now is a neutral foundation that is neither on the side of oil exporting countries nor on the side of non oil exporting countries. It will be fair and comprehensive. Delegates, this delegate would not say this resolution is perfect, but it is clear, close enough. What we need is your amendments and support. Only by discussing this resolution in the House can we know what we need and how to change it to a perfect resolution. Are you ready to feel the benefits? Support this resolution. Thank you. Thank you, delegate. Is delegate open to points of information? Two. The delegate of House opened himself to two points of formation. Is there any on the floor? The delegate of Germany, you have been recognized. Is the 
delegate aware that those who vote against this resolution is mean not to have our work getting better. Yes. Um, thank you, delegate. Would the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair? Back to the chair. And this is the end of the resolution submission session. And the second task is the debate. Three sessions of the debate. Debate for, against, and open, open debate. Let's watch the demo. The chair will now set five minutes for this resolution. Is there, del is there any delegates who wishes to speak for this resolution? Delegate of Morocco has been recognized. This delegate would like to focus on Clause 1 and further elaborate on this clause. The new organization established includes two committees. One is the Non-Renewable Energy Committee, which focuses on the urgent situation that is happening right now. That is, the oil prices and the usage of oil. The second committee puts its focus more on future development. It monitors countries to develop renewable energy and it provides assistance to help oil exporting countries to transform its domestic industry. As you can see, it goes straight into a problem and this is why the delegate is urging the House to see the awesomeness of this magnificent cloth and resolution. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. Is the Delegate open to points of information? Uh, the delegate has opened himself to non points of information. Since there is none, would the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair? For Thank, the the chair. Thank you. And the delegate, the delegate of the debaters who speaks for the resolution will go on the floor and through the same process as the main submitter, which is the speech and points of information. The chair will now set five minutes against this resolution. Is there any delegate who wishes to speak against this resolution? Then we have a Russian Federation have been recognized. Chairs, fellow delegates, this delegate believes that this resolution will not lead us to a brighter world. It's the opposite, because this resolution is not only very, very bad, but also not comprehensive at all. Let's start with the resolution. Class 1. The delegate of Germany proposes to establish a UNHCE. To, uh, this delegate believes that the delegate of Germany did not either explain who will be the membership inside the UNHCE, and it doesn't even explain clearly what the UNHCE is for. And also, in class 2, subclass A, it doesn't even show where the funds come from. How are we going to get money to develop new alternative resources? And in subclass B, underdevelopment. How can we define underdevelopment? Is it how they, the technique of oil producing? Or is it their economic level? Or is it their technology? It doesn't even show it clearly. And in subclass C, transformation to what? OK, this is just a resolution itself. And now we are going to focus on the issue in this console. This is oil future, price, demand, and the depletion of fossil fuel. Delgi of Ger uh, the Delgi of Russia Federation is aware that the Delgi of Germany did not even know what the topic is. We are focusing on the fossil fuel, not only the petroleum problem, the alternative resources problem, because this Delgi naively believes that the oil use can be decreased by creating new alternative resources. This delegate would like to 
draws the house attention to the clothes we're wearing, the cups we're using, or even everything we see here. Most of them comes from the substance of crude oil. And this study is very sure because this country produces oil. And also, the Dogi is also aware that the, the, the diversity of eco economy in some countries is way beyond our imagination. If we take the funds and investigate our future, how about the countries in Africa or in Asia? There are approximately 75% of people in Africa living under the poverty line, which means that they use less than $1 a day. And if we use this fund to develop the unknown future, do you think it's fair for those people in Africa? No. And also, the oil exporting countries like the Delegate of Russia Federation and the Delegate of mm, United Kingdom and the Delegate of China, are you aware that if the Delegate of Germany proposes to decrease the use of oil, they will take away our economic reliance? Why don't they just nuke us? Okay, so, and also, we still have time. <laughs> and also, in class one, establishing a new organization. It's useless. We already have a lot of organizations, for example, the OPEC, the UNIBF, and the, a lot of organizations that deal with the oil problem. Just like what Steve Jobs said, there's an app for this. And in this case, there's an organization for it. Everything is all set up, and why do we need a new organization? It's useless, and waste of, uh, waste of man resource. So, delegates, oh, one more thing. Don't put, uh, in clause, or is it? Whatever. There's a clause saying that it's going to put the countries into three levels. This delegate find this solution really not practical because it may lead to the opposition between different status or different levels so that they will try their best to be the to be in the very the, the top level but even though they are not the greatest okay so delegate this delegate this delegate is trying to urge the house not to vote for this resolution and especially the delegates of oil exporting countries please think twice before voting this resolution thank you Thank you, Dalgue. Is Dalgue open to points of information? Any and all pertaining to his speech. Dalgue has opened himself to any and all points of information pertaining to his speech. Is there any on the floor? The Dalgue of Germany will have you recognized. Is the delegate aware that its government also labels its citizens into several parts and provide different tax on um, tax system and charge different tax? Is the government itself eager, trying to Make his citizens in an opposition situation? Uh, no, the Delgate is not aware of this because our government has our own situation. Our country is different from other countries, so we use this different methods to rule our own country, to run our country, and to make it a better country. Granted. <laughs> is the delegate also aware that the situation in Russian Federation is so different from our world? How can we say that all this resolution is we're not possible? Principal order. The, the question the delegate raises not pertaining to this delegate's speech. Would the, delegate, uh, would the chair please ask the delegate to hear all the questions the delegate has? <laughs> <laughs> the chair? What? Um, would the delegate of Russian Federation just answer the question the delegate of Germany raised? different from your country to up the delegate of Russian Federation's country and it's not practical at all. Well, the delegate will use your braces. Is the delegate, oh, sorry. Is the delegate aware that he himself did not give the delegate <laughs> Sorry. Would the delegate of Germany please repeat his question? Is the delegate of Russian Federation not doing enough research and trying to figure out all the faults in this resolution? This delegate did enough research, and it's the delegate of Germany who did not do enough research and focus <laughs> on the alternative resources. Will the chair please ask the delegate of Russian Federation to answer the question, not ask another question? <laughs> the delegate did not ask a question. Um, would the delegate of Germany please sit down? Thank you. <laughs> 
Russian Federation, yield the flow back to the chair when you ask that chair. <laughs> An amendment is a written statement that adds, deletes, or revises grammatical mistakes in the operative clauses. And I would like to remind you that the amendment should be written on a amendment sheet and is made only during the against and open debate. And here is the amendment process. First, pass a note to the chair to ask for an amendment sheet. Second, write your amendment on the sheet and pass it back to the chair. Then take, oops, then take the floor. The chair will read the amendment and the delegate will then state the amendment. After that, he or she will inter entertain points of information. Then there will be an open debate on this amendment. The last, we, uh, the house will vote on the amendment. And let's watch the demo. Um, is there any on the floor? The delegate of Russian Federation has recognized. The delegate of Russian Federation will propose an amendment. That is in order. <coughs> the amendment reads, strike clause one. Would the delegate of Russian Federation please approach the podium and state the amendment? Uh, this resolution is very not comprehensive, especially class one. We already have a lot of organizations that deal with the depletion of oil, the trading of oil, the use of oil, and everything you can think of. There's an organization there ready for you. And establishing a new organization, this delegate thinks that it's not necessary. Yeah. Thank you, delegate. Is the delegate open to points of information? Any and all. The delegate has opened himself to any and all points of information. <laughs> Is there any other form? The delegate of Germany have you recognized? Um, since the delegate points out this resolution is not comprehensive, is the delegate also aware that to strike this clause will only make this resolution even more not comprehensive? Uh, yes, the delegate is aware of that, but this delegate wishes that to happen. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Would the delegate give the floor back to the chair? Back to the chair. <laughs> the chair will now set five minutes open debate on on the amendment. Is there any delegate who would, who wishes to speak? Who wishes to speak? Um, the delegate of Germany have been recognized. Honorable <laughs> chair, fellow delegates, this delegate um is aware that in this resolution it has some bugs. For example, some commas are not added. But the ideas in this resolution is so different. Also, the Zeddick of Germany would like to point out that it never provides unknown future in Europe area. The, what the Germany has proposed has been a big success, for example, European Union. So, in comparison, what, what are those countries in specific area has done to our world? How can we listen to their um, big and a small part of opinion and try to change our world's situation and stop from our world to get better? This delegate proposed that all the delegates should vote against this, result, uh, this amendment because striking this clause shows that the delegate of Russian Federation has no idea why this clause is not good enough but just trying to strike, strike the clause. And the Germany would... Uh, becomes the the one victim. So do a uh, think twice before you vote. Thank you. Thank you, delegate. The delegate over two points of information. No. <laughs> the delegate has opened himself to none points of information. So would the delegate please yield the floor back to the chair? Oh, can the delegate yield the floor? Um, that's an order. Should the the, that is, um, Russian Federation has been recognized. Please approach your vote. Thank you. Our um, chairs for the delegates, class one, sorry, class one <laughs> is basically doubting the abilities and the functions of the existing uh, organizations. So is the delegate of Germany doubting the function and the ability of OPEC, the UNRBF, and trying to create a new 
organizations that can do that can certainly do better than the existing organizations. And also mentioning about the unknown future, it is unknown because so far we haven't come up with any possible solutions to create a different of resources that can totally replace the fossil fuels. Thank you. Thank you, Delegate. Is the Delegate open to points of information? None. <laughs> Okay. Um, the delegate who is given the floor should convey the same of, of opinion with the previous delegate. <laughs> that means the delegate of Russian Federation should say something um, similar and the same of opinion, uh, the same situation with the delegate of Germany. <laughs> okay, this delegate apologizes. So what the delegate of Russian Federation um, yield the floor back to the chair? Uh, start the speech again. Um, okay, that's an order. Okay. This class is very, very comprehensive. So please, vote for the amendments. Thank you. Um, is the delegate open to points of information? None. The delegate has opened himself to none points of information. So would the delegate please give the floor back to the chair? Back to the chair. <coughs> The House will now vote on this amendment. Secretaries, please secure the doors. Delegates are reminded that you have to vote for or against on amendments. Every delegate must vote. Abstentions is not in order. Delegates who wish to vote for this amendment, please raise your placards. <laughs> Delegate who wish to vote against this amendment, please raise your placards. <laughs> With one vote for, six votes against, this amendment has failed. <laughs> the chair will now set five minutes for open debate. Delegate who wishes to speak for or against the resolution, please raise your placard. The delegate of Germany have been recognized. <coughs> Honorable Chair for the Delegates, since the evil power has been known <laughs> again, and since the, our world is working toward a better future, thanks all the Delegates here, and I know that since you do the wise choice, you will enjoy the fruit in the future. Thank you. In the known future, not unknown. <laughs> Thank you, Delegate. Is the Delegate open to points of information? Unknown. The Delegate has opened himself to non points of information. So would the delegate of Germany please give the floor back to the chair or to another delegate? Oh, to, the, uh, to the chair. Thank you. Motion to move to your voting procedure. Second. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, in this session, uh, the chair may ask some quiet delegate to speak because uh, since everyone should participate in the conference, and the chair sometimes will call on some delegate who haven't spoken before. Motion to move to your voting procedure. That is second. Important. Second. Okay. During the conference, there may be some occasions that the delegate would like to make changes on. And if the delegate feels that the debate time is not enough, he or she can...